The Indiana State House once again in session, and that means our weekly State House wrap highlighting proposed legislation. It is back to keep you updated. Nicole Christine joins us with a look at some of those bills. Well, Dana, there are over 700 bills currently listed on the Indiana General Assembly's website for this session. One of those bills, penned by local representative Spencer Deary, would allow taxpayers like you and me more insight into how our tax money is being used. The bill requires the Department of State Revenue to provide each resident individual taxpayer who's paid their adjusted gross income taxes with a receipt statement showing how those taxes are being used. This would include an explanation of distribution to public schools, political subdivisions, and state reserves. The statement would be given on an annual basis. This bill is under review in committee. Meanwhile, a bill authored by local Senator John Ford aims to create an audit of two upcoming elections. The bill would require the Secretary of State to enter into a contract with an independent company and conduct a full forensic audit of both the 2023 municipal general election and the 2024 general election. This audit would be of 10 randomly selected Indiana counties, and it would analyze whether correct procedures were followed within those county election offices. The legislation was referred to the Committee on Elections earlier this week. And several Hoosier lawmakers are penning legislation regarding marijuana this session. So far, there are nine bills directly related to cannabis or marijuana. Many of the bills propose the decriminalization and or legalization of marijuana. One bill, authored by Representative Blake Johnson, would establish a procedure for both the production and sale of cannabis in the state. Local Representative Shane Lindauer co-authored a bill that would allow the use of medical marijuana for certain people. When last asked, of course, Governor Eric Holcomb did say he would not legalize marijuana until federal law changed. That does pose an uphill battle for Hoosier lawmakers wanting to get certain cannabis-related legislation signed into law. Dana. All right.